as a coastal economy bordering eight countries, six of which are nearly or completely landlocked. Tanzania is well situated to become a regional economic and transit hub. The country is endowed with rich renewable and non-renewable resources that can power not only its own economic transformation but that of its neighbors as well. With an average real GDP growth rate of 6.3% over the past decade, 2010 to 2019, Tanzania is among the fastest growing economies in Africa and in the world. According to the Bank of Tanzania, BOT, and the International Monetary Fund, IMF, the real GDP of Tanzania grew by 4.9% in 2021 reaching 70.28 billion US dollars. In 2020, the real GDP of Tanzania grew by plus 4.8% reaching 64.4 billion US dollars, and grew by plus 7% in 2019 to reach 60.8 billion US dollars in April 2021. Tanzania's new president Samia Suluhu Hassan gave her first speech to the parliament, mentioning the priorities of the sixth phase government in the next five years to reach a GDP growth rate of at least 8% yearly. Tanzania Key Economic Sectors According to the economic data included in the National Data of Tanzania Mainland of 2013-2019 by the National Bureau of Statistics, at current market prices, services made the highest shares of GDP, 40.0% followed by industry and construction, 31.1% and agriculture, forestry and fishing, 28.9% Notable sectors of the Tanzanian economy are tourism, mining, construction, agriculture, and manufacturing. In November 2020, the late President Magufuli announced that in the next five years its government will put great emphasis on key economic sectors, especially agriculture, livestock, fisheries, industry, mining, trade, and tourism. The IMF projects a GDP growth for Tanzania of plus 5.1% in 2022, and 6.0% in 2026. The World Bank, in its 17th Tanzania Economic Update TEU, estimates a real GDP growth rate of 4.5 to 5.5% in 2022 and 6% over the medium term as exports and domestic demand recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. The government will need to strengthen its pandemic response in the short term while laying the groundwork for a private sector-led recovery over the medium to long term. But the AFDB projects a slightly faster economic growth of plus 5.0% in 2022, and by plus 5.6% in 2023. Tanzania's need per capita rose by 6.1% during the 10-year period 2010 to 2019, from 720 US dollars to 1080 US dollars. In 2019, Tanzania became a middle-income country with a NEP per capita of 1,080 US dollars, against an average of 1,550 US dollars in sub-Saharan Africa. The total value of foreign investments in Tanzania in the period March-November 2021 reached 4.144 billion US dollars. This is 300% more than the 1.013 billion US dollars in FDIs in 2020. Investments were drawn mostly to the mining sector, the oil and gas industry, and the primary agricultural product sector coffee, cashew nuts, and tobacco. The top five providers of FDI into Tanzania are South Africa, the UK, Kenya, Canada, and China. In the World Bank Doing Business Report of 2020, Tanzania ranked 141st among 190 countries and ranked 4th in the East African Community. EAC, for the ease of doing business. The country is currently implementing the blueprint for regulatory reforms to improve the business environment in Tanzania, and aims to raise its score to at least 100. Thanks so much for watching this video.